guys and welcome to my youtube channel siva tube so today we are going to learn about quartz scheduler so it's a very interesting topic and we are going to integrate it with spring boot so i have prepared one uh, ppt so we'll go through that and then we will go through the implementation so Quartz scheduler integration with Spring Boot. So basically, Quartz scheduler is nothing but it's an open source job scheduling library that can be integrated within virtually any Java application from the smallest standalone application to the largest e commerce system. So it's an open source job scheduling library. So it's an library and that is provided by the Quartz. Uh, and we are using that quartz scheduler api and we are scheduling our jobs and we are integrating that api into uh, a spring boot okay and it can be used to create simple or complex schedules for executing tens hundreds or even ten thousands of jobs so there are lots of jobs like uh, email scheduling or we want to uh, there are lots of use cases i will uh, go moving forward i will explain it to you so in those cases, the use cases we can use uh, take the help of Quartz Scheduler to schedule our jobs. So these are the use cases of Quartz Scheduler. So these below are the functionalities and what scenario and use cases we can achieve uh, from this uh, Quartz Scheduler. So suppose one functionality uh, while writing the code or when we are working in a like a company so we will be getting this functionality to be developed in our project for job scheduling so you have recurring task like multiple uh, recurring tasks or batch jobs that need to be executed at a specific intervals suppose uh, there is a logic where you need to execute that task every hour or daily weekly so in that case you can use the job scheduling cost scheduler to uh, achieve this functionality so that is the use case there is one more uh, functionality like automate automated re reports generation so suppose we have a report generation like suppose uh, in monthly we are getting the uh, bank uh, uh, statements right so th those bank statements we can uh, use the cost scheduler or there are multiple schedulers but i am talking about cost scheduler we can achieve this functionality by using this so your application generates reports periodically and you want to automate the process so in this also the huge case we can use our quartz scheduler to schedule this uh, uh, functionality so in the same way email notifications are there real-time data updates are there so these are the huge cases and scenarios so let's move forward so uh, these are the prerequisites like uh, basic knowledge we we want like java spring boot and java id so it's not about like uh, those who don't understand uh, java or spring boot they can't go through this course but uh, basically the basic knowledge we we want like uh, it must have like java spring boot so that it will be easy to understand right so basic prerequisites are java spring boot java id so this is the flow diagram uh, here we will try to understand like how quartz scheduler works so there is one scheduler factory so scheduler factory in the sense like uh, where we can create we can instantiate our scheduler and by using that scheduler we can schedule the job so that is the scheduler factory uh, provided by uh, quartz scheduler and by using that we can create a scheduler and that scheduler will uh, that quartz scheduler will be using to schedule a job okay so here there are two listeners are there job listener and trigger listener so i will explain it to you so schedule a job so once that job is scheduled it will store the job data will be stored in our database okay so that job data will be stored in our database and based on that stores the job with 
बच्चे वॉन्ट टू एग्जीक्यूट ऑन शेड्यूल टाइम सो बेस्ड ऑन द टाइम द ट्रिगर ऑटोमेटिकली पिक्स दैट डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस एंड इट विल स्टार्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग दोज टास्क राइट बेस्ड ऑन द शेड्यूल टाइम सपोज नाउ द टाइम इज एलेवन फिफ्टी सो द टाइम विल बी लाइक आई हैव शेड्यूल्ड अ जॉब विच विल रन एट ट्वेल्व ए एम सो आफ्टर टेन मिनट्स इट विल बी एग्जीक्यूट एंड टेक द data from the database and it will start execution by using this trigger okay so once this scheduler is initialized it is instantiated then that scheduler we are using to schedule a job with the job data and those job data will be stored in our uh, database and when the trigger like based on the timing based on the date it will pick the data from the database and that a specific job will be executed right so uh, here trigger is there and job is there so what is the job of job listener and trigger listener so you can understand in this way like trigger is a teacher job is also a teacher so trigger is a teacher for trigger listener so trigger listener is a student so what it will do trigger listener will listen to trigger what he will listen so trigger will tell like i have started triggering i have done my trigger so this thing he will listen and he will act on those things job is also same way job teacher will tell to his student like job listener this is the task i have executed and i am going to execute it i have done so these things he will take care so we can register this listeners perform action based on the event occurring within the scheduler okay and job listener receives events related to job and trigger listener receives events related to trigger so this is the whole flow diagram only this is not deep we will go through the coding task so this is a project setup like create a spring boot application and add required dependencies so here five types of dependencies we are having these are the starter dependencies we require to at least create a web application or we, we can create by using this status at least we need so that is a starter mail a spring web data jpa quasi starter mysql okay these five dependencies we need so steps need to follow these steps we need to follow and components we need to get started with most schedule a job so there are like steps uh, uh, i have written like uh, writing job store configuration like what are the database configurations what we need to follow about uh, uh, the job configuration uh, as uh, this cross schedule configuration and all those so creating job bin like what what the task we need to perform what the job we want to do so that thing we need to create and then creating trigger and job details then scheduler scheduler job using cost scheduler so uh, this is a microservice flow uh, i have created so suppose uh, i am admin right so what i will do is i will send request to our controller a spring boot application hope you guys know a spring boot application so this is a controller uh, mbc flow so admin will request to controller and controller the endpoint will be triggered and the service so in this service uh, job will be scheduled and stored the scheduled data into db so this service will store the data into db and based on scheduling date and time the job will be triggered based on the scheduled data okay this trigger an email job so we will be writing a job that is email job so what it will do when we trigger the endpoint the job will be scheduled and the data will be stored in our database and based on that timing it will pick the trigger will pick those data and it will try to execute that email job so one email will be sent to our application right okay so let's go to the coding but uh, that coding part we will be discussing in the next video so thanks for watching this video and hope you like this video so please be with us and uh, we will be providing the uh, related videos in the next okay so thanks for watching this video and please do share subscribe our channel
थैंक यू